Coach, you recently took on Ohio State, and, des and despite a tough loss, there were numerous bright spots. What takeaways did you have from this game? Yeah, it was a great opportunity uh, to go play at Ohio State. Um, I thought, number one, I thought our guys really fought. I thought we threw the, the first punch uh, in the game. Um, we were aggressive. Thought, I thought we really, you know, again, I thought on, on both ends of the floor we were. Um, so even though we lost, I thought the score wasn't probably indicative of how the game was. Uh, I think it was a lot closer than that. and Just like the fight that we showed, especially on the road. In that game, Jaquel Morse recorded his first career double-double and provided some stability in the paint. In what ways do you help him build off of a performance like this? Yeah, it's funny. You know, it's like you go back and watch last year's games, you know, when, you, when you're about to play an opponent. Like we played Wright State last year, and, and, uh, and he barely played. He played like five minutes. And now we're asking him to be a consistent uh, producer for us, right? You know, it's just a huge change in role for Jaquel. Um, He's shown that he can do it. Listen, we're not going to play a more talented uh, front court uh, than, than Ohio State. Um, and he, he arguably was the best front court guy on the floor uh, for either team. And uh, he had a double-double, obviously, and I thought he played good defense as well. He fought. Um, you know, hopefully this is something that he can continue to build on just with his confidence that, man, no matter who we play, you know, he's going to be one of the more talented guys on the floor every game. Against Davidson, your team struggled in the first half, but had a much stronger showing in the second half. How do you go about sustaining your team's offensive production for the entirety of the game? Yeah, I think we got to, you know, when you miss a few open shots, you got to keep shooting them. You can't try to uh, um, force something that's not there. And I, I think that was the lesson to be learned for our group in that game. We missed some early open, wide open shots. Um, and it was like, man, we're, our shot's not falling. Well, let's try to do something else. And but that's what they were giving us, right? And and I liked the looks that we were getting. And then we tried to force a little, a couple things, and ended up turning the ball over, live ball, and they ended up in transition for Davidson. And I thought we fought back in the second half because we started taking threes, the open ones. You know, you drive the ball, you get two on you, you kick the ball. It's not rocket science. And um, when we started doing that, man, I thought we started getting the results that we wanted. And, and listen, oh, we're we're one of the best shooting teams in the country. You know, just because we missed two or three or four threes in a row, listen, we want to keep on letting that thing fly. You know, we shoot the ball too well, and I got the utmost uh, confidence in our guys. You're expecting your preseason second team All-Max selection, Anderson Marumbo, to return soon. Can you touch on his impact and the type of difference maker he can be at this point in the season? Yeah, we're excited to get him back. Uh, you know, Anderson, um, he makes the game easy for everybody. You know, he's just one of those guys you can play through. You can just dump the ball to him inside or dump the ball to him on the elbow, and something good's probably going to happen more times than not. You know, I mean, he's a load. So you got to kind of, as as an opposing uh, team, you got to make the choice. Are you going to let him play in single coverage? He's probably going to score or get fouled. And then if you double team, he passes the ball so well, and we shoot the ball so well. We got all this shooting around him. That, that makes us really difficult to guard. So it's kind of pick your poison. Um, so excited that he can give us that, um, the attention from the other team that, that he deserves and we need a playthrough guy. Um, and then on you know, the glass, he's really going to impact us as well. You know, he's a guy that's uh, he averages six rebounds a game. He's big. He takes up space. That's been an area where we've really struggled on the defensive glass and that we've got to continue to get cleaned up. And I think, you know, giving us a look of him and Jaquel together, or him and Reese together, you know, whatever it is, just gives us a way different look, and I think that'll help us on the glass moving forward as well. You traveled to Wright State on Tuesday. What does your team need to do in order to walk away with the W? You know, the toughest team sets the rules, you know, when you go on the road. And I, I, Wright State, I got a lot of lot of respect for their program. Uh, Coach Nagy does a great job. They've been at the top of their league every every year. Um, and this year is going to be no different. You know, he plays a really hard non-conference schedule. So you look at their record and you're kind of like, man, I thought I thought they were really good. No, they are really good. You look at all their analytical numbers and they're off the charts. Um, you know, but we got to be tough. You know, you, you, we got to be physical. Um, we got to grind it out, have that fighter's mentality going into this game because they're really good. I mean, they're old. Trey Calvin is a, is a fifth-year guy. I mean, he's as good as any guard we're going to see all year. Uh, Tanner Holden transferred back from Ohio State. Uh, fifth year guy, just all conference. I mean, just he's he's really good. And their their front court guys are really good. They're big. 
Um, so, you know, I, they were, they're really talented and really good on offense. I mean, special offensive team. And so we just got to have that dirt under our fingernails approach and, and uh, do the things, you know, the, do the toughness things on the floor, rebound, dive on the floor, set good screens, embrace the physicality.